Hello everybody, my name is Leafies, welcome back, I hope you're having a great Tuesday. Today we're going to be looking at three different cannons in Minecraft. One is a TNT duplicator, one is an item cannon, and one is a TNT cannon with a TNT duplicator that you can use in your flying machines. Uh, cannons are really useful, but nobody really goes into depth on how to make them, so today I'm going to be showing you guys these three, and if you do enjoy and find these useful, then consider subscribing, it really means a lot and really, really helps out. So, starting off, we have the basic item cannon. This works with all different items and requires two sticky pistons, two slime blocks, four blocks of choice, two redstone torches, a repeater, and your choice of input. It fires an item about 30 blocks, and it looks kind of like this. So, if I were to place a block here, it does shoot, and it finds its mark about 30 blocks away. So, let's get into a brief tutorial on how to build this thing. Let me line it up so I can, you know, show you guys the accuracy. So you want to start off with a sticky piston, a block with a repeater, no ticks, slime block on its face, block up here, torch, block, torch, block, piston, slime block. And that's about it. All you got to do is now place your input right here if you want, and then boom, place your item. And there's something important to note about this cannon that I feel is kind of annoying. So this cannon will work most of the time, but in certain situations, if you like misplace the block and it's like right in the center, sometimes the block will, the item will, uh, not block, item will shoot straight up, and that is definitely an issue. So I'm not getting it to happen right here, but there are occasions where this cannon will not work. However, it is very useful, very cost effective, and very very skinny, just one block wide. So yeah, if you are in the need, if you are in the need for a cannon then this is your guy. Pretty good cannon, works most of the time. Oh, I, I missed. Moving on, TNT duplicator. So the next cannon that I have for you guys is a TNT duplicator. And it doesn't actually fire like our final one. However, this one does make some TNT and I'm gonna show you guys how to activate it. I'm pretty sure I have a redstone block in here. Yep, redstone block right here. And this can be used in flying machines or in a quarry. It really depends what you want to do. I'm going to be showing you guys the quarry version, but I'll also tell you how to do the flying machine. And if you guys don't know what a quarry is, it's just digging straight down, TNT caving, all nice. So let me show you guys how to do it. You want to grab two walls, a sticky piston, a fan, a detector rail, two of them. Uh, sorry, one detector rail. I don't know why that's here. Minecart, some TNT, and seven slime blocks. And let me just get over here. You want to go sufficiently up if you're right on bare ground so you don't actually blow it up. And this is a bit important if you want to do TNT versus flying machine. So here's what I'm going to show you how to do. So you want to start off with your block right here. And then you want to choose which direction you're going to want it to go in. So if you're going to want to make it go that way, let's say if it's a flying machine. If you're going to want to make it go whichever way you want the TNT duper to go, just place a wall on the opposite side. So if I wanted to go that way, it would go this way. And if I wanted it to go that way, I would put a wall right here. And what's cool about this is actually it can be pushed two ways, so you can push it either this way or you can push it that way, and it will always work. So, okay, so now that we have our direction picked, we want to place two slime blocks and two slime blocks on the opposite sides, and then two more slime blocks just down here like so. A dead coral fan, a detector rail with a minecart on top, and then a TNT. And the final step is to push this all to the side with a piston. And now we have ourselves a fully functional thing. So if you want to make this a quarry, you would position your the piston right here and then just push it back and forth and it would mine out the ground. Very simple. I just don't go too fast. Make it like a clock, I guess that'll be fine. And if you wanted to keep this going forward, all you would do is you would put the I would use a regular piston if you want to make it go forward. I'm assuming you use this for the flying machine. And now you just want to put a piston right here, and then if you power it, then it will push and TNT will duplicate and it will be pushed again, and it will duplicate, and that is that. However, what if you want the TNT to actually fire for a battleship or something? Well, that's our third design, and let's get right into that, and yeah. So this is our third and final design, and it's a bit more expensive, so you're going to need the same materials that you used for the previous cannon. I have them right here if you guys want to take a look. And then you're going to need an extra 10 slime blocks, 3 observers, 3 terracotta, uh, any glazed is fine, 3 glazed terracotta, uh, 2 more sticky pistons, 2 regular pistons, 1 redstone block, and 7 honey blocks, and this is my input block, actually it's not my input block, and it's important to note that I am using a piston instead of a sticky piston, like I have like a sticky piston here, I'm using a piston here, so just that's something to note, and this design is pretty compact, it, I'm sure maybe you can make it a bit smaller, but right now all I've got to do is push this, and you can see the TNT does go flying, and there is a way to make this a diagonal TNT launcher, so it actually goes like that upwards, However, that is much bigger, and I don't feel like showing up the for that, as it might be too not compact for you guys. 
So let's set it up. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to go a bit over and you want to make your base. And your base is just going to, oops, your base is just going to be three terracotta, three glazed terracotta, just like so. Next, you want to make a little T-shape and put a redstone block right here. And then go back one and place a piston right here with four slime blocks on the back. Afterwards, you want to go up a bit and place your sticky piston so it's touching the slime blocks. And then right here, you want to place a honey block and then go up five so it's right next to this piston. Place an observer right here. I'll slow it down so you guys can see this is all we have for now. Afterwards, you want to place another honey block here and go out and place a sticky piston just like so. Afterwards, you want to put a slime block and a slime block and then go out one and place an observer. I recommend being careful with this observer placement so that it doesn't mess you up too much. Afterwards, you want to place your piston right about here and I do think this should be fine. So now you want to go and actually place your duper. So you want to go one to the side or one down to the side and you want to place your wall just right here and I think that should be fine. Uh, you want to place the slime block with this, and this, this is actually the duper design, so if you didn't watch the previous part of the video, well, let's say you make the TNT duper, it's really quite simple. Set up your piston so you can push everything together uh, like that. Then you want to go underneath, place your dead coral fan and your TNT, and I do believe that's all, and now boom, we are now have the duper in place, and everything should be set to function. So now you want to have your activation piston right here, and I'm going to show you guys how that works. So I'm just going to set up my piston just like so and then place my redstone block and you can see that all it pushes and extends and then you put it one again and now it should be in the prime position to duplicate and as you can see if you place this right here this TNT will get launched and the reason it has to be such a big shape is because sometimes you can see the TNT will actually land on the slime block well this time it land on the base but sometimes it will land on the slime block and that is just really inconvenient so let me just try to get that scenario to happen and you, the TNT is unpredictable and you want this to work there it is you want it to work 100% of the time regardless so that actually is going to wrap up the TNT duplicator design this is the cannon for TNT flying machines it's really simple and really easy and looks pretty nice it's only three blocks wide so that's pretty good and that concludes our actual video uh, one more note that I would like to make is that this cannon the item cannon does not work well with minecarts as you can see the minecart doesn't fly anywhere it's really puny so I don't recommend doing it with minecarts Anyway, that concludes today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Consider subscribing if you haven't made it this far. And yeah, peace out. Bye.